Hey guys, welcome to a Corel Draw tutorial. I'm gonna be using Corel Draw 6 and uh, I'm gonna show you how to place an image or a photo inside of a text. And as you can see, I already have a piece symbol here ready and I'm just gonna add some fonts here. So kind of show you guys how you can do that with Corel Draw. And this is very simple, so let's put uh, let's write um, peace and love. And I invite you guys to check out my channel if you are new and give me a like and subscribe if you want to learn more tutorials on Corel Draw and other softwares, which is what I'm gonna be doing. And yeah, pretty much, uh, I'll show you everything. Uh, from Corel Draw and other stuff later on. So, okay, so we have the peace and love here uh, word, and now we're gonna let's make you know what let's make it rounded. Let's uh, place this on top of the the circle here. Why not? All right, that looks uh, that looks about right. Okay, now. What we can do here, uh, you can either keep them grouped together or break them apart from the peace symbol. If you, let's say, you want to do it this more lower or whatever, but I'm going to keep it this way. So, okay, so what you're going to have to do now, and I have uh, show uh, you guys in detail how to do this too in other tutorials. I'm going to uh, use uh, add some contour to all everything here so pretty much uh, let me I have it right here but let me show you where you can find the contour on your dashboard on your Corel draw so you pretty much go to window scroll and go where it says dockers right here and then you're gonna see contour here okay because that's what we're gonna do but now, uh, since we break apart this, uh, it does not read the whole thing. Uh, for some reason, you're going to have to do this individually or just um, put them, group them together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click here where it says Weld, and it's going to be all together now. So whenever you move this anywhere, it will come all, all of them together. So. All right, so there you are. Now let's play with the thickness here. And I don't know if you noticed that it was like this when I opened the, the contour uh, dashboard. You wanna be sure you click here, this one where it says outside contour, because that's the one you're gonna use. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. And, and you can do this, uh, the thinner, the better. That, well, it, that doesn't really matter. But as long as, as you can see it, now you just add some color there and you should be good, okay? So there you have it. Uh, there's the contour. Now we're gonna have to break apart the contour from the image and we're gonna highlight the whole thing like this and then go where it says arrange. Uh, scroll down and go where it says break contour group apart okay now the contour it's uh, separated from uh, the red one so now what we're going to do again is highlight the whole thing like this and go where it says trim all right it's trim now let's put this on the side we don't need this and actually that let's uh, switch the colors let's make this black and do this uh, yellow now here comes the best part all right so I already have an image here right here that I got from Google I uh, just borrow it to show you guys how how I do it so what we're gonna do is place this let's make this bigger of course just use as much space as you can just do not of course exceed the square or the, the image and there you go that's that should be good and it's up to you if you wanna uh, do this capture certain colors or if you wanna scroll this down 
it's really up to you I'm just showing you guys how I do it now we're gonna highlight the, the whole image with the with the image here in yellow oh sorry now let's do it again highlight it and now we're gonna do basically the same thing trim all right now let's move this aside let's move it here and there it is it's trim now what we're going to do you guess the right we're gonna break apart break apart and now remove the first contour and you should have now the font and the the rest of like the symbol everything just want to be sure that you keep this here next or close to you so that way you get a better idea where everything's located because I don't know if you can see here uh, you're gonna still have to like trim certain stuff here but what I usually do you don't need this because this is a P we're gonna choose letter by letter like this just pick one and just keep the shift button on your keyboard uh, pressed and just go picking on each, each letter and until you get all of them now go where it says weld and it's all weld okay now what we're going to do is highlight this trim it's trim okay do the same here highlight here click shift trim and erase it and finally the letter O shift pick on the font and trim and there you go all right so now let's do the same thing with the circle let's highlight where uh, this area is here and just choose like right on the edge of the circle do the same trim and it's it's trimmed there you go now let me show you you cannot you can like uh, do weld with this too and add another contour to this if you want or you can use this very same one you can use this very same one so that way uh, it's unique and let me show you There you go you can switch a different color if you want that is all 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 is all up to you so it's whatever you you like some people what they do if they're gonna place this on a t-shirt let's say they want to place this on a black t-shirt they usually do this uh, the outline or the contour they do it white and it looks pretty cool let me show you so that way they see they can still see the the shape and everything I mean again that's all up to you but basically this is what I wanted to show you guys um, hopefully you guys uh, like this video and give us a like subscribe and yeah I'll see you again on the next video thank you so much